Welcome back to another episode of Corolla Customs where today we are going to be doing a valve cover on my Chevy Avalanche. Now, if you are familiar with the 5.3 liter Vortec engines with these uh, Chevy Avalanche, the Suburbans, the Yukons, whatever it is that it goes into, um, you'll know that usually these engines have a oil consumption problem, which is most likely due to the PCV valve on the valve cover. Now on the old valve cover, the PCV valve has a different um, location. Actually, it has the same location, but there is a port of holes that are located on it where the valve supposedly shoots oil into it and then it gets consum consumed and that's what causes the consumption. Now on these new valve covers they change the way the port is which is this bigger hole over here that you can see um, if you can see. It's a bigger hole which will limit the fact that it consumes and actually probably stop it so we're gonna try that today and see how it works so stay tuned. Also very quick before I start this episode I do want to give a shout out to Jose S for always watching my videos and leaving awesome comments. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this one. First pop the clip and pull the wire harness off to the side. Using a ratchet extension and 10 millimeter socket, remove five 10 millimeter bolts holding on the coil pack to the valve cover. Flip over the harness with the coil packs and rest it on top of the engine cover. Now remove the four 8mm bolt holding on the valve cover. Use a flathead to pry off the valve cover and maneuver the old valve cover out of the way. I'm extremely disappointed. There's a terrible amount of sludge buildup in this engine. This is usually due to the fact that the oil hasn't been changed on time. There are a few ways to remove the sludge. One way is running ATF through the engine. ATF is considered a detergent, which can clean out the engine. I guess I'll be draining this oil much more often than usual. Now I'm going to show you guys the two differences between the old valve cover and the new one with the PCV valve on it. So if you look at this, take a look, you'll see on the new one, the opening for the PCV valve is a lot bigger than the old one. Over here on the old one, they had this hole that would get clogged up, like right now. It would get clogged up because where the lifter is located, it would shoot the oil up in there and cause it to be consumed. Um, so in the new one, they made the hole a lot bigger and they changed the location. The old one is right here, the new one is all the way in the bottom. So the location is different. Also I think the PCV valve might be a little different as well. We're the same, I'm not sure. Yeah, this one's a little, is angled a little different than that one. And that's mostly it, it's just the ports. Uh, they just changed the port of the PCV valve um, for it not to consume the oil so the lifters doesn't violently thrash the oil to shoot it up and be consumed. Clean the mating surface before assembling the new valve cover, then install the coil pack harness.
Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this episode on how to change the valve cover with the PCV valve for the 5.3 Vortec engine on my Chevy Avalanche. Here's the old one and we put the new one in already. Um, the engine is running so much better. I also did do a oil change, I didn't show that on camera. The next episode, what I want to do to con really get rid of the sludge is I'm going to change the filter. There's a little filter that goes inside the oil pressure switch and we're going to change that as well. It's going to help the truck run so much more better. Um, in order to get the sludge out, I will be doing the oil change so much more often. Um, I am putting synthetic in the truck. A lot of people might say it's a waste of money, but I either, I rather my vehicles run right. So trust me, I'll be getting this to run right. Um, so, so far it's running really good. So I want to say thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for this episode on how to change your oil pressure switch or oil sending unit. That's what they call this and a little filter. Um, I also bought some AC Delco oil filters. I got those from Walmart for $2, which is a heck of a lot better than going to the dealership, which is $9 or going outside aftermarket. Just go to Walmart guys. You'll get the, the filters way cheaper. Um, I also put castor oil in my vehicle so to the guys at castor oil if you're watching this hook it up but I put these uh, castor oil uh, full synthetic and um, yeah and then after that I do have another episode to do which I'm gonna be doing the thermostat the ra radiator hoses and a coolant flush um, and that's it for now so thank you all for watching if you're not a subscriber please subscribe um also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my new episodes um also like and leave a comment and tell me how you felt about this episode i try to get the uh the angles the best i could um but i tried so you know what guys thank you all for watching and peace